Hey guys, welcome back to Ganty Plans. It is time yet again for another monthly children's bedtime book review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Goodnight Darth Vader by Jeffrey Brown. Um, I was first introduced to his work, I think in some web comics. Um, you may be familiar with some of his art and all of that. It's, uh, well, I'll show you this one. This one is another book by him. I'm not gonna be talking about this one as much. This is less of a bedtime book and more of a comic book. Um, but like a comic strip book, you know, like a comic strip compilation thing. It doesn't have a narrative to it. Um, so it makes it a little more difficult when my toddler asked me to read this to her. Anyway, this one is Vader's Little Princess. There's also a Vader's Little Prince. Um, the basic premise of these and the ones that I have seen online is <laughs> an alternate universe where Darth Vader raises his twins as little kids, but they still maintain a lot of their character from like they're still in the resistance and all of that. So it doesn't make any sense, continuity speaking, um, if that's what you're <laughs> looking for, you're gonna be frustrated, but it's cute, right? Like, <laughs> if you can read that, it says, you were so mean, all he did was kiss me. Um, so, for example, that's some cute stuff. This is his bedtime book, which does have a bit of a narrative and a little bit of some rhyming to it. And so this one I don't mind as much reading to my daughter. I think it might actually be shorter. It's hard to tell. Um, I actually got this at Comic-Con. Um, he had set up a booth, and since I was familiar with his art with a little bit, I stopped by, and he was doing a special. It was like, buy two books, get a free signature, and a free tote bag. So I'm like, yeah, totally. So there's actually an autograph here. Yep, autograph copy. This isn't made out to anyone because I got this before I was pregnant with our daughter. Didn't even know whether I should have gotten princess or prince. So it was lucky that I actually got this one as a gift from my sister at our baby shower. But we picked this out for our future children. Um, and so the idea in Goodnight Darth Vader is you've got, obviously, Darth Vader and little toddler, little kid Luke and Leia. It's their bedtime. And here we go, it starts with a scroll, which is cute. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, episode 8 p.m., bedtime. Lord Darth Vader rules the galaxy while attempting to rule his twin children, Luke and Leia Skywalker. He has commanded them to go to bed, but they have other ideas. He says, Luke, Leia, join me and I will complete your bedtime. He says, no, why do we have to go to bed? If only you knew the power of sleep. It is a story, yeah as you wish. And so he reads them, or he tells them. Um, there's just a little bedtime rhyme, right? So each page has sort of a rhyming couplet based off the Star Wars characters, and they're all going to sleep, right? So far, so good. I'm going to be a nitpicky like I tend to be in this series. The meter of this is not great. It's a little bit difficult to read aloud because the some of the some of them are great, right? Like this one says, Padme is tired after too many galas, so sleep is quite welcome for Queen Amidala. That flows nicely. Um, let's see, where's Oh gosh, this this rhyme I hate, for example. It's time on it's bedtime on Kashyyyk for all the Wookiees. So now they climb high to sleep up in the trees. Like the, the meter of that is all wrong. Um, there's one where it rhymes um, here, I guess, chewy with villainy, which also uh, not a great rhyme. So some of the meter is a little bit off. Um, that's probably something you can overlook. I do when I read it, it's fine. <laughs> it's just, you know, don't look for it to be great poetically. Um, you should also know, if you're a Star Wars fan, that he leans heavily on the prequel trilogies, and also this predates the sequel trilogies. So you're going to find a lot of prequel trilogy characters in here. For example, this one's cute. Um, the math doesn't work out, but this one's cute. It's General Grievous. Um, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have some original trilogy stuff. This one's cute. Setting his bedtime, or his, uh, his alarm clock in the Death Star. Um, so you've got, you know, you've got to have your Ewoks, um, but there's also like Jar Jar Binks in here and um, Queen Amidala, like I said. I think that Ahsoka, before The Mandalorian, um, only appeared in Clone Wars. I haven't seen all of those. My husband's been trying to catch up on them. Kids shows, I don't know. But I think that that makes sense. So things like Ewoks, 
and then the prequel trilogies and the Clone Wars are all aimed at kids. Um, and this is named at kids. And so it's not going to have as much of the stuff that's like, you know, complicated or more adult themes. It's obviously, you know, it's, it's cute. And it's just mentioning the characters. It's not even going into like plot uh, devices or anything like that. There's a little bit, there's, you know, Rancor. Um, but just, I think that that is a good choice, but you should also be aware of it if you're not a fan of the prequel trilogies, but like who is, but they're designed more for kids. And so you'll see those children's characters as it were more in here. Tell me in the comments, if you know who named the slud, the trash monster, Dianaga, I didn't know that it had a name, but it does. So there you go. Fun fact for today. Apparently I could have been pronouncing that wrong. Uh, so there's not a lot more to say about this. Um, it ends here with good night, death star. Good night, Luke. Good night, Leia. Good night, Darth Vader. Um, and so that uh, goes obviously your, um, your good night moon and all of that. Um, and it's just a cute little bedtime story. And like I said, at least it does have a bit of a sort of narrative to it. It makes it easier to flip through each page and read them because it's not, um, there, there are some comic book or comic strip elements where you'll see things, you know, talking bubbles. Um, and so my husband is more likely to read each of those. I guess he has sort of a, um, I don't know. I, I tend to want to go more for the po reading the poem at the bottom and sort of almost skipping the part at the top that like during the day, whatever, you can read the, the bit here where he's, you know, um, Boba and Django are, are arguing about going to bed. That's cute, right? My husband's going to stop and read each of these little talk bubbles and I tend to skip over them. So that is um, your choice, obviously. <laughs> Uh, as always, I'm going to try to find this and link it in my bookshop.org link down below so you can find all of the um, books that I have reviewed in this series. I do one of these videos every month, so if you have any book suggestions that I should review in the next one, do let me know because I'm always on the lookout for great new books for my girls, and I would love to review one of the books that you recommend. Uh, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, I do one of these videos every month. I also do planner content on Thursdays as well as general lifestyle and family stuff like this video on Sundays. I will see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Bye!